Little Archie Windsor, the son of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, just turned three years old on May 6, 2022. This is a news story circulating. It's not hit the lamestream media yet that Archie is experiencing severe anxiety due to essentially neglect. Meghan and Harry are just absent parents. They don't take their kids anywhere. Harry's polo matches with Nacho in California are a case in point. Megan didn't even take the kids there, where there were many other families with children relaxing on the grass, enjoying the sun, and the polo match. They went to the Queen's Jubilee without the kids. Don't you think the other royals would like to see the children? The other royals brought their children. The conspicuous absence of these children essentially anywhere in Harry and Meghan's life, except in very carefully choreographed paparazzi shoots, has led many to speculate that these children are maybe not even real. And when they do mention the children, the words don't always ring true. So let's read this. Lisa sent this to me, and thanks to all who send me tips. I'm very grateful. I've heard that in the near future, we're either going to have some pictures drop of the children or released pictures are going to be proven fake. I agree. There's a whole lot of pictures of Archie have been released in the past three years. This Archie looks like a GQ model to me. That luxurious mop of perfect red hair. This kid looks like he was selected from a modeling lineup. Compared to this child, Wyoming July 4th Archie, that's not the same kid. Or this child, just look at the volume of hair on the last two kids' heads. Not the same child. I have no doubt that the Harkles have been using different children to represent Archie in these photos so that they, that they so carefully curate and circulate to the public. The question is, have they finally adopted an Archie? Have they settled on one and only one Archie going forward? I mean, they need to. I also heard that Archie's been removed from nursery over severe anxiety around socializing with others and that official people are working with the family and ostensibly telling Harry and Meghan they have to interact with the kids and can't just desert them for three weeks at a time. Official people jumps out at me. Hmm. There was a rumor that Child Protective Services was seen around their Montecito mansion. We have this little tidbit sent to me some time ago. CPS has been called several times by family members of the dubious duo. The pair are fond of their drink and drugs. Grandma takes care of kids in the morning so her daughter can sleep. Let's ask the cards about this. Archie is supposedly highly anxious to the point that he's not socially thriving and seems stunted in what he's able to learn to do just because he's so beset by anxiety. This person suppo supposedly told the Harkles that he's not attached to his parents and is working with the family to help them form attachments, but he seems anxious about even trying to learn to attach to Megan. I did not hear but assume the same is true for Harry. This makes a lot of sense. If Harry and Meghan are never there, or when they are there, they're checked out, indulging in drink or other substances, then the children will feel abandoned. They will either feel that it's not safe to attach to their parents, or the parents are simply not physically there for them to attach to. The gossip also is that this official quote, official, working with the family, is trying to coach Megan out of trying to control and discipline even the most trivial behaviors. A three-year-old three should be learning to stay in his seat and say please and thank you and not reaching for things but asking for them. He should not be focused on passing the salt and pepper together. So, is little Archie criticized for everything? to the point that he can't do anything right. Or the modern version where everything is superlatively wonderful, even just really stupid stuff. Or perhaps right and wrong are completely arbitrary and based entirely on Megan's mood at that moment. Let's take a look. Let's see what the cards want to reveal today. Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royalty. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share. That helps the channel a lot. So let's get right into it. Have they settled? Have the Harkles, have 
Harry and Meghan settled on an Archie? Have they adopted finally a boy that they named Archie? Because uh, I don't believe that this child came from Meghan's womb. Uh, they've obviously been using multiple different Archies. And probably they're using multiple different Lilibits, but Lilibit is so young, you know, little little babies under one years old are really hard to, you know, they're just really unformed little people. You can't really tell their features. They're just a little, little blob, you know, little pudding people. So have they settled on an Archie? Have they actually adopted a boy that they have named Archie. Seven of hearts. All clear going forward for the long term. Mm. Ace is a one. Official. Out of the many. All right, player. All right, so what have we got? Well, we jacks are children. We just have one jack in the outcome. We really only have one person card. And I'm, the question is, have they adopted an Archie? Have they chosen an Archie? Player, player's an actor card. So, like they chose him as an actor. Like, this is the most beautiful Archie. Um, like that GQ kid in the, in the family photograph. I mean, that kid, man, look at that hair. He's just, he's got that beautiful skin, just very nice features, that amazing mop of red hair. That's just the most appealing kid they could find. And so he's Archie for that, for that day. So, uh, and that's like the actor card. So what have we got here? Let's read it. It's all clear going forward for the long term and they've had success. 18, five diamonds. So yes, they have, it uh, does appear that they've adopted an, an Archie. They've settled on one Archie. So hopefully going forward, and they need to do this, hopefully going forward, we're going to just see one Archie from now on. We're not going to see this, you know, this one and then that one and then that one. And then they have to cover his head with a hat because the hair is a different color and it's, it's curly sometimes and it's straight other times. You know, we're not going to see that anymore. So they have successfully adopted an Archie. They've committed to this. It's a contract because they're reacting to people seeing that it's a whole bunch of different Archies and it's official now. So yeah, they're adopting this kid. They've either adopted this kid or they are adopting him. Hightower, that's a very official card. They just picked him out of out of a lineup. City. City is is so many. It's like the whole world. I mean, maybe this one, maybe that one, maybe that one. They just auditioned a whole bunch of Archies. It was a lot of trouble. There was a lot of hullabaloo around this Archie issue. And hopefully they worked it out uh, before they got to Lilibet. Okay, I think the surrogate would not give up Archie. And then they had to go and search another, find another Archie. And that's why they were showing us different Archies. I don't think they had that problem with Lilibet. But we'll see as she grows up, you know, you get to look at the pictures and see if they're showing like different Lilibets. Uh, mustard seed. Planting, beginning, hopes and fears, mustard seed. You plant the smallest mustard seed and it grows into the largest tree. So they hope this one sticks. I'm not sure how to interpret that. And player. Player, he's not the legitimate heir of Harry and Meghan. This is a child that was, this is an actor. This is somebody who came later. He's there to play a part. He does his thing and he leaves. So he's still quite new. But yes, they have chosen an Archie. Uh, without these cards, I do believe it's official. Okay, they have chosen an Archie. Uh, but, but that player is a very suspect card. Let's, let's, uh, let's get the sticks involved here. This is an important question. Yes, no, yes, no. Uh, oh, let's, let's clear them first. 
Uh, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, have they chosen... Have they chosen one Archie? They've settled on one Archie and they've adopted this child. They're adopting this child. They have adopted this child. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. That's a strong yes. So they have chosen one. Uh, they have chosen one child. Okay, and so, see the player card... I wasn't a, you know, that's uh, that's a Fugazi, you know, that's fake. Okay, so that kind of made me question if they really have, but they they ha they just chose him like like an actor. Okay, they basically like chose him like an actor, but they have chosen one child. They've settled on one child, so henceforth we should be seeing the same beautiful visage of Archie at all times. So. Uh, has Child Protective Services gotten involved with, you know, in Montecito with Harry and Meghan? Because they're very rich and powerful and they're very influential. I think it's that's not easy to do. Okay, and they've got a lot of, uh, you know, nannies and whatnot and they can cross all the T's and dot all the I's. I mean... No matter what they're doing, they've got abundant resources to care for the children and protect themselves. So has so I think it's unlikely. Has CPS gotten involved with Harry and Meghan? Home. Magi. Hmm. Many people. Oops. Oh, what are these? Oh, dear. Oh, my. Hmm. Well, 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 well. Has CPS got underneath? So, on the surface, boy, that looks nice. Underneath secrets, keeping secrets hidden, a blockage in, uh, in the situation, and scapegoat, and suddenly, I, I, this actually underneath it really does look like CPS has gotten involved. Let's see, sixteen, seventeen, twenty-two. There are many people involved. Hmm. Yeah, so underneath it, really, they're keeping it a secret, but yes. And I, I guarantee you, the royals know this, and they can expose them at any time. And so, again, Harry and Meghan must be taking the Tums. Uh, and that could be why Harry is kind of like ready to finally exit, because man, what a mess. Just reading on this stuff stresses me out, because it's such a circus there. And, and sick people, people who are not emotionally well, their life is just constant chaos and they're constantly reacting. They seem to really enjoy just turning their life over and just reacting to whatever is happening right now. And Megan is a master of that. She'll just drop everything and deal with crisis after crisis after crisis, which is why they're so unbelievably unproductive. You know, with with the audio, uh, Archwell Audio, the podcasts, the they they it's just crisis after crisis after crisis, and all this reacting, you just can't get anything done. Uh, what do we have here? Many people manifesting a nice house. Ten twenty three. So there's a whole lot of it's, it's a big machine. Uh, there's just a whole lot of people involved in creating this household. Okay, there's. Uh, to to produce the Archwell podcast, there's 28 people employed to produce that one Archwell podcast. Okay, that is a machine, bro, and that the production quality should be absolutely spectacularly amazing. How many people are involved in producing the Joseph Magi videos? Just me, baby. Just just me. Just me. Okay, and just me. And I'm not sure her production quality is a whole lot better than mine. And I don't think that my production quality for this, for my little thing that I do is, is superlatively amazing. But, okay, I, I actually do think that there are serious problems and there's a lot of people involved. So this says to me that CPS could actually have been involved. But there's, 
there's definitely big problems and there's a lot of people involved. Uh, yeah, interesting. Archie and Harry and Meghan. So if the kid is showing serious anxiety issues, that could, you know, somebody at the school could tip off CPS. But the kid is so young. He's just three. Allegedly. You know, and who knows who they picked for Archie. They could have picked a five-year-old to play three-year-old Archie, and they just decided he's three. You know, he's going to have to be three years old uh, because that's how old, allegedly, Archie really is. So let's look at Archie and Megan and Harry. Is Archie, is this Archie, who they've finally chosen, you know, attached, bonded to Megan and Harry? We're going to look at Archie and Megan and Harry. Or are they just like strangers living in the same household and Archie's like, yo, give me this, yo, give me that. Uh, faux parents. Archie. <laughs> oh, there's the player card again. Harry and Meghan. Are, are they, you know, is there a healthy attachment there? Let's, let's look. Healthy attachment. Oh. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Are we looking at a healthy attachment? Okay, so let's read this side. This is the Archie side. Part of the family, this uh, child who was selected, this player, this actor, is now part of the family. So we have Magi and player. Uh, and Magi can be a deception card. You know, they, they manifested this child into the family. They manifested this actor, okay, who is just... A play, the player uh, and the fox are very related, but the player, he, he just comes in, he gets the job done, and he leaves. Okay, in, um, in romantic relationships, the player is the guy who hits it and quits it. He's going he's gonna to have sex with her, or, or the other way. The player, player's neither male nor female. Okay, but females generally will show more as like a queen of diamonds or a queen of spades. That's more feminine kind of energy. But the player just gets in, gets it done, and leaves. They get what they want, and they leave, and you never hear from them again. They look good. They look really nice. GQ, Archie. Uh, so they manifested this kid into the family. Let's, let's add this up. 20, 22, 32, 35, nine clubs. Yeah, through adoption. Nine clubs through adoption. So it's a whole lot of smoke and mirrors. This kid is not the legitimate heir. And I guarantee you the royals know that, and that's what that uh, thing that I was reading was telling was telling you, was telling us. What do we have here with Harry and Meghan? Ruler in charge, transformation, and reacting to circumstances. So 13, 26 come from outside. So they've taken they've taken headship over this child and transform their family uh, with this child. So, yeah, they're just now acting as the parents. Father, this is a perfect father card. Ruler is like the best father card. I'm your father. These are the rules. This is how it is in this household. And this is how we're going to do things. The father. Okay, that's the ruler card. Broken chalice, veil, Uh, very, there's secrets and great brokenness in the family. Nine, three hearts, but they give a sweet appearance. So is, the question I asked is Archie attached properly? So they're being his parents. Okay, he is, so in the center, he's a family member. He understands that he's a family member, but he came from the outside. There's a lot of emotions attached uh, there's a lot to work out. It's a mess. It's a mess. This kid is being adopted or is adopted. You know, it's a process to adopt a child. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there's a waiting period like buying a gun or something. I mean, who knows? Uh, you know, I mean, there's no waiting period to have an abortion, but there is a waiting period to buy a gun. Maybe there's an, a waiting period to adopt a child. I don't know, because uh, I don't haven't adopted any children. But it's still a mess. It's a lot of turmoil and mess. Um, yeah, it's... It doesn't say he's not attached properly. He's just... A, he's a kid. He's going to have to slowly, through osmosis, feel like these are his real parents. 
uh, and I don't think he's there yet. So is little Archie suffering from major anxiety as, as per uh, the gossip that, that I was reading to you? Is little Archie suffering from major anxiety? And it's like noticeable to people. Because it could be. Uh, very emotional. Uh, stuff down, yep. The bottom looks good. Is this little Archie? So, very, very emotional. There's no more emotional card than the Ten Hearts. Uh, he's manifesting. He's showing evidence. And this is right on the surface. He's showing evidence of internal turmoil. 2327, due to the family, cross. Yes, he is. This is actually completely true. Uh, and that's interesting. Okay, so for a child to evidence and show a lot of it a lot of anxiety that's that's disturbing so he really is he really is underneath we have the the father again uh or the family had you know the family this is like we're going in this direction the father is going to lead and make rules and and set boundaries and, and guidelines and that's very good uh, you need that in society. And that's a big part of why society is going so wrong because we, we've we deified the single mother and if the, the best predictor of antisocial behavior, violence, drug addiction, alcoholism, uh, not, not fitting in well to society is being raised by a single mother. Uh, so you really need these rules. You need, you need that. You really, really need that or you're just going to be really screwed up. So that represents the family, the father, the headship, the family. Uh, transforming everything, the family on an ongoing forward and, and trying to create a, sit, a good situation in the family, you know, right now as things are happening. The four-leaf clover, everything is happening right now. 12, 25, 35, 37, 42 jack of diamonds for this player for this for this for this player this kid who's been planted and grafted onto this family so i mean they're really doing their best they're really doing their best but yes our little archie is definitely showing major signs of serious anxiety and adjustment disorders he is showing this so is Archie criticized for everything? Uh, he can't do anything right or he does everything right. Let's just see what the cards want to say. You know, because Megan is horrible. I mean, she screams at people. She throws tea at them. Uh, they called her a narcissistic sociopath. Uh, they call themselves, what is it, the Sussex Survivor Crew. I mean, she is a nightmare to work for. Do you really think she's not going to act that way towards Harry, towards the kids? Of course she is. Uh, so is Archie, you know, let's just see, is he criticized for everything? He can't do anything right. Or is he doing everything right? She's in the love bombing phase. Oh, you're so perfect. Oh, you took a crap on the carpet in the living room. You're perfect. You know, what's it, what's it like? Oh, my, look at that right on the surface. Wow. Wow, you can't get much darker than that. Can't get much darker than that, bro. All right. So, what what kind of situation? It's a it's a mess. It couldn't be any worse. Ten spades. It couldn't be any worse. And it's systematic. The executioner has a plan. The executioner is the most organized card in the deck. The other card that is incredibly organized and well, very very long term planning is the queen of spades. So king of spades and queen of spades. These are the most organized, well-planned cards in the deck. Okay, so 33, nine hearts. Wow. And that really, that makes it even worse. The nine hearts makes everything better or it makes everything worse. Okay, the family, inheritance, the structure, the family, the legacy of the family, 10 diamonds, is a car crash. And it's... It's like, it's like malicious. It's like, 
intentional. It's like this is how they do things. How they do things, the system of the family is like designed to create problems and chaos and mental illness. That's what this says. So this is a, this kid, you know, money doesn't buy you everything. Uh, this kid has found, is finding himself in a terrible situation. Okay. Is he going to have food? Is he going to have clothes? Is he going to have an iPhone? Yes, yes, and yes. But maybe those things are not that important. Uh, and like I did, I did mission work in the Dominican Republic, which is the poorest, uh, Latin American country on the planet. And everybody asked me, don't you feel sorry for those people? And the answer is no, I don't. And it's not because I'm cruel and ruthless. It's because, um, their, their life situation is very different and they, they do stress about a lot of things. Everybody does. But they don't stress about a lot of the things that we here in the first world stress about. It's just different. It's just different. Uh, it's just different. Their lifestyle is different. It's not better or worse. Uh, and I, I don't think God is that impressed with riches and wealth. That's not uh, the first priority of, of living here on this planet is to become wealthy. That's not what we're here to do. Uh, so anyway, uh, what do we have underneath imposed from outside, uh, Qu queen of diamonds. Yeah. So Megan is constantly manipulating. Fox is a great manipulator, manipulating the environment and the home and through emotional, she's creating, creating problems with that. She, she, she manipulates the emotions. Okay. And you can see that let me turn that off yeah, so literally on the bottom what this is saying is that megan is an emotional manipulator and that's how she's manipulating the environment she's an emotional manipulator very very emotionally manipulative and that's that's the problem so this is a terrible situation for this for this young child this little actor who's been chosen to live a wealthy life so let's review they have settled on an archie Okay, they have chosen an Archie. So going forward, we're going to see the same boy growing up. They need to do this. Absolutely. It does appear that CPS or some something like that has gotten involved. The child is showing clear signs of major anxiety and stress and having trouble adjusting. He's not really very attached yet to Harry and Meghan, but they're making it very clear. They're doing their best. Okay, and that's all you can do. They're, they're, this is your home. This is your family. You are our son. Okay, but uh, this, it, the situation is awful in the house. The situation is absolutely awful and chaos. And in King of Spades, it's like designed to be chaos. And a lot of that is because Megan is tremendously emotionally manipulative. And that's very, very bad. So that's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling the Magi Method. Please like if you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video if you liked it.